with Consumers Union, which actually is the nonprofit publisher for Consumer Reports. And we're going to talk a little bit about a new entity. Tell us what it's called. It is called the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and it opens its doors today. All right, good. Well, we're wondering, of course, what is this going to do for us? First of all, before we kind of get down to the, we're going to sort of switch things up instead of asking the how and why initially. How, what, how is this intended to help consumers navigate the financial marketplace? Well, the CFPB will identify and stop abusive and de uh, deceptive lending practices. And they will go about doing this in a couple of ways. One, they will provide consumers with the disclosures in terms that consumers can understand so that consumers can shop for the best loan. They will be able to identify what is the best for them in terms of the product as well as the risk associated and the cost. Another important feature is starting today, the CFPB will be taking credit card complaints. Certainly, just about every household in America has credit cards. And so starting today, if consumers are finding that their credit card company is not treating them fairly or imposing illegal fees or doing something that is not appropriate, the consumer can contact the CFPB in a number of ways. One, they will have a website that will be up today, and that website is www.cfpb.gov. But they will also have a toll-free number. So if you are not comfortable navigating the Internet, you can call them with your complaint. And once received, the CFPB will go about trying to resolve the issues. And then finally, I, I cannot forget this, they will also make it possible so that if anything that you need in terms of questions about how your credit card company is working or treating you, they'll have a place to go. They will not be passed on to another agency. Oh, you call this person, you call that person. The buck will stop there. What's going on with the CFPB in Congress? Oh, gosh, I'm sad to say that as we are sitting here celebrating the opening of the doors, there are those in Congress who are out to undermine the agency and make it ineffective. So today there is a couple of bills pending on the House floor that would, just, would do just that. Um, there is a bill that would change the funding mechanism. Right now, the CFPB funding is through the Federal Reserve, and the Federal Reserve gets its funding from the industry. Well, there are those in Congress who want to change that process and make the funding mechanism through the appropriation process. And at first glance, someone may say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, the CFPB will be the only agency subject to the appropriations process. And perhaps even more importantly, if you do that, then it will be politicized. Big banks who have the money for, to pay lobbyists will be on the Hill trying to cut the budget. So certainly, certainly, we're hoping that that does not pass today. Assuming that it doesn't and this is able to function as it is designed, does it have the ability under law to actually make financial institutions obey the law? Oh, absolutely. Um, starting today, they will have supervision and examination authority for the largest banks in the country. And actually, Consumer Reports did a study just recently and found that 80% or more of our the people surveyed want the CFB to, to play that role. They want the CFPB to make financial companies accountable if they break the law. So this is a good thing that's happening. Well, we are very grateful. Thanks very much also for letting us know the contact information. We'll post that on all of our respective sites. A real pleasure. Pamela Banks, Senior Policy Counsel with Consumers Union. Hope it works. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.